how's it going? Went up the Sunshine Coast yesterday on New Year's Day and we picked up the biomedia for our recirculating aquaculture system or RAS system and also for a little filter I want to make up for the aquaponics. Uh, we picked it up from a lovely chap called CC Bear. Thank you very much mate, he's a member of the Backyard Aquaponics Forum. We've been chatting on and offline for a while now when we went halves in an order so just to make it a bit cheaper for ourselves. And we also got to sample some lovely fruit cake from Mrs CC Bear, thank you very much and had a bit of a chat. It was a great morning. Thanks again for the hospitality you showed guys. Checked out his aquaponics system and also checked out the, more importantly, the RAS system. Um, he's got a, his system set up at the moment. He's had it running for a little while now, just without the fish. And I think yesterday afternoon, he threw some fish in from his aquaponics setup. He's had it running for a while with water from the aquaponics system, so he's had the, the uh, microbes and the bacteria in there seeding the system and you know getting the bacteria all set up for the fish as they go in. So I shot a bit of a clip, just a bit of a warning though. It was a little bit fuzzy yesterday and still am today, recovering from a bit of a, a marathon sinus migraine. So definitely not too much joy on uh, New Year's Eve. I'll stop prattling on and yeah, here's a bit of a look at Bear's system. Just up at Bear's place having a look at his RAS system and start off at the pump. Pump is the 6,000 litres an hour, positioned inside the sump here. The reason I've done mine like this instead of like Paul is being a member of the Free F Club for the age and the arthritis. I can't step over pipes or walk over top of them so I've got everything up high. So a 6,000 litre pump situated into the sump on barrel unions for easy in and out. Leads out to the two inlets or the two IVC systems. It's one there and one over the other side. And the third line down is the Venturi into the biofilter. The biofilter has 50 litres of a whatever C1 I think they are. Yeah. C1 material. This has only been running now for a week, no fish in it. But everything seems to be running smoothly with no problems so far. So still playing with it. Still playing, playing with, with it. it. Yeah. We come out of two SLOs in the in the fish tanks. One SLO Oops. I've got running along the bottom. One SLO I've got just in the corner, just to see which one picks up okay, the best. Cool. And they run out of 50 mil pipe down into a 65 mil, which comes back into the radial flow filter. That's the radial flow. And from there she runs out. Rose from out into the bio. Uh, from the bio, runs back on the bottom one into the sump and the whole process the keeps going again. Cool. So you used the uni seals again too, didn't you? I used the uni seals yep. wherever I've gone through the IVCs and through the tanks. There's been a couple of mistakes that I put in there, so... Yeah, I've, I've got I've a couple of that. <laughs> I've got the pipe in and just capped it up. Yeah. So, I'll... But you're happy with these Venturis, aren't you? I mean, look at that. I'm happy with the Venturis. This, this is the man who sent me the heads up on these Venturis, guys. As a demonstration, there's nothing through there now. All the fine bubbles. There's no problems with the amount of bubbles that are coming out. All nice and fine too, nice yeah. Nice and fine bubbles, so... That's really good there. Everything seems to be working well. Blind Freddy's going to be up here this afternoon and We'll be emptying the 100 fish out of the main tank. It's in here. And the jades? Jade, I've got 75 jade, 25 silver, and one eel tail catfish. <laughs> Poor lonely bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't cost me anything to do. Ah, right. sweet. So, I'll just come backwards. So, the water comes through the slows there, down the 50 into the 65. Yep, was it? 65? That's right, yep. Straight up through the guts of the radial flow filter, and then from there, radial flow filter flows across into the bio. That bit of pipe has holes on the ends of the slots and slots all through the bottom, yep. just to stop any of the bio floating back if the system shuts down. Yep. From the bottom there, 
it Just flows the bottom one there back yep. through this one here back into the sump with the pump in it and the pump there and from the sump starts the journey again through these ones through here this one and this one oh, back into the fish tanks and this is just the venturi you were talking about before coming from the pump just to provide the air for the just media provide in here. the air in the biofilter and do a bit of disturbance to the biofilter and keep it uh, on the move going. and that's that's just the venturi there just with the black pipe with the cane on it sweet job mate keep it rigid mate yeah keep it rigid yep yeah. So cool. as I said, it's been running for a week. We'll put the fish in hopefully this afternoon. Yep, the fish at the moment are in this tank here. Yeah. So, Maya got embarrassed and had to run. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. The time, <laughs> well, thank you very much, Bear. No problem. It's been a pleasure, mate. mate. No problems, yep. Good Sweet. to see you. Good to see you. Glad you and the family could come, mate. Cool. And this is something like what I'm going to be doing. So just to show you where we are on the RAS system, um, I won't show you the tanks because they're pretty much all in the same condition, but I will show you the chickens. No, I'll show you the pump here. Uh, this is a little um, 6,500 litre an hour, or I think it's about 170 gallon an hour pump. I picked it up from the post office this morning. This is gonna be the heart and soul of our little setup. It's pretty much all the same one Bears used, and also um, a chap on the uh, our Facebook page mentioned that he had the exact same pump and he's had it running for a while now so so it sounds like it was a pretty good purchase it's um, only runs on 50 watts so it's a uh, 50 watts smaller than our 4,500 litre an hour pump so hopefully we'll get a few dollar savings there and running the system with that hopefully what we'll be able to do is afford another one of these soon and I'll swap it over to the aqua aquaponics system um, with the aquaponics system I'm, when we do a few changes on it um, I actually want a, a larger water flow to go through the system so I'm looking at a pump around about this size and the bits and pieces actually picked up from there it wasn't this, it was actually a couple of bags worth but this is the media um, it's a coldness style media, uh, Big Boss, I think it's Big Boss to the manufacturers, I'm not too sure, but this is what we picked up. So I'll be making up uh, bio, moving bed biomedia filter for both the aquaponics and aquaculture. The aquaculture system will actually be a larger filter, it'll probably be between 50 and 100 litres. Uh, with the aquaponics one, I'm only going to make a smaller filter, so there you go. At least, at least I've got all the parts I need now, except for a bit of uh, PVC pipe. So there you go. There's a bit of a look at Bear's system. He's done a fantastic job, and I'll be pinching a few ideas from his system. Thank you very much again for the look around, Bear. Really appreciate it. I'll put a link in the description below to Bear's Backyard Aquaponic Forum page, uh, just where his thread where he's got his RAS system and also his um, aquaponic setup. Well worth checking out. He's got a really great looking system. Also pop a couple of links down there to the distributors of the pump and the biomedia. Uh, I'm not recommending you use these guys, I'm just putting them down there just as a reference point for Aussies out there who are looking for prices. Might be a bit expensive to water from these guys if you're overseas, but you know, I'll put them down there as a bit of a reference point anyway. So I will pretty much will leave it there and stop prattling on. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, I hope everyone has a fantastic 2014 and I look forward to seeing all your clips on your aquaponics and gardens people. So, have a great one and take it easy. Catch ya.